Okay, we're going to look at three different examples of black back spiral shirts. Um, this is a rainbow spiral made very much like the other rainbow spiral except that our starting point is on the shoulder. And it's twisted the same way. And I'll get back to this shirt. I want to show you a couple others first. This is also a black back spiral made with two colors and folded through the center and then twisted from the center in this direction. So if I take special care and line it up, you can see that all the black is going to be on one side. And you're not going to be able to see it completely, but the black will be on one side. And then when I turn it over, it's mostly red on the other side. OK, and that will give you the pattern with the spider the spider looking pattern. And then the third one is again folded down the center. Anytime you see symmetry, we're folding down the center. But on this shirt, instead of starting at the edge like we did with the spider pattern, we start in the center, and we're turning this direction. You'll see that the majority of the blue is on that side. And that comes out with that pattern. So we're going to do the black back rainbow spiral, this shirt. This is the simplest of the three. There's, there's no symmetry involved. It's just a rainbow rainbow dye pattern. So lay your shirt flat. I usually start in this corner up here, uh, about halfway between the shoulder and the armpit, halfway between the center and the sleeve. And same spiral twist, same feathering. Sorry. Hold your center tight. And then wrap around it to hold it in. So because of the size of this shirt, what I'm seeing is that the collar color is going to be the same as the tail color. And you can tell by the placement of the tag and the tail of the shirt. So we want to start with, uh, we'll just go rainbow order. And I'm going to keep my blues up toward the collar, blues and purples toward the collar this time. So I'll start down here with my red, all the way to the center. I'll go in rainbow order because it's easier to remember. Orange, not all the way up to the center. Yellow comes in and touches the red. Blue mixes with the yellow to get your green. And again, you don't want to take it all the way to the center. Just do a little overlap there. And then finish this side with the purple. I 
I got a little bit of a splatter there, but because this is a black back shirt, you're not going to see it that much. Now, when you flip the shirt, as long as I keep the red on the red and the orange on the orange, I'm not going to mess up my, my colors. I can push it up just a little bit more there. To finish the shirt, I'm going to take the black and I'm going to cover the entire back of the shirt in black. And again, just, just to cover, you don't want to soak it. If you're working with um, wet shirts and warm dyes, it penetrates really quickly. So dye sparingly. And then when I put this shirt down to sit, I like to put it down with the color side up so that the black doesn't bleed all the way through and you don't get too much black. It, it lets you retain some of the white. So it'll sit like this. <laughs> 